how was it like to be back after three years and a cancellation? You're back. The show's still going. <laughs> it's great. I don't know. Jamaica is, a, it's, it's great. I mean, the, you know, I think that like the cancellation, I guess it works for us because it's a comeback story, but we were, we were, we were scheduled to leave YouTube, but you know, before it was canceled. So like we, I never thought I never went through the cancellation thing because I always knew that it was coming, but you guys do too. Right. I told you that we were. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. We knew. Um, hell it's great i'm happy we're we're finally hitting the air after yeah. all the hard work everybody has done cast crew writers directors everyone have put so much freaking hard work and sacrifice into that third season coming out of covid quarantining making sure everyone stays safe and healthy and still being able to bring their God bless talent and um, blessing us with that. Like I wanted everybody's work to be seen from the makeup artist to the extra, you know, just everyone to see themselves on screen because they put so much hard work and was so excited after we wrapped. It was so excited about the work that they had did. It was so excited for everyone to see it. So I'm like, yes, October 16th, let's go. <laughs> let's go. Think the time away and also being on a new network where you could do different things gave you guys kind of a fresh pair of eyes on how to look at the series? Yeah, definitely, I think. I mean, we shot during the height of COVID. I mean, like the toughest, gnarliest, mm -hmm. very few series were shooting. So we had all of the pressure and onus of that on us too. But yeah, Jamaica, like Jamaica always keeps things super fresh and is always bringing things to the table that feel new, but also honor the past, you know? So yeah, I mean, I do feel like we had more, I mean, at first it was awesome because there was more money and there was more like all the things and then COVID kind of, you know, took, took all that away in a weird way because then we had to really compress everything we were doing in the time frame and everything, but still like, I think, I think you came back with like a, a more, seasoned eye Jamaica don't you like yeah and I think um stars now being on stars I was able to now say okay so we can go a little bit farther than we did before on YouTube with like certain scenes and certain dances and things like that we can kind of like hit the button a little bit more and Holly was like absolutely so it was like okay cool so now we can think of movement and we can think of things that we weren't doing before because it was on a different network. We can now incorporate it. So it definitely was able to, you know, jerk the creativity and it felt exciting. Not that it was bad at YouTube. It was just like, like you said, it was just a new fresh eye to it. And it was a new way of thinking how to be creative. Yes. And on this season, the characters on tour, how was it like to create these kind of larger than life productions? Woo! <laughs> um, and I, I was stunned a lot of times. And I, I've come from music industry and I was like, for instance, Neo is on the show as Sage and I've worked with Neo and some of the production sets that we were on, me and him were like, damn, we haven't even got that for, for you, for yet. But Sage, Sage gets to get, okay. And he's like, well, I've done it now since Sage has done it. Like to build out a freaking tour like this. And oh uh, my God, our um, set and art designer, um, Gabor is amazing, amazing. And so to be able to embark upon that, I mean, it was, it was, it was kid in the candy store for, for us. So it was just a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. It felt real. Holly, Some of those war it, shows felt real. <laughs> yeah. Holly, you created Make It or Break It as well. What mm -hmm. is it about athletes that have to the uh audience it seems really beautiful and effortless but behind the scenes it's such brutal work what attracts you to that as a creator oh it's such a good question and you know dance movies dance genre is kind of a subset of the sports genre like it, it, and i am really super drawn to it i'm drawn to people that do superhuman things 
um, and athletes and dancers, you know, who have that gift, um, they do it with nothing but their bodies, really. I mean, I know that it's more than that, you know, you know, like Jamaica has a very talented son who's an athlete and I'm sure you spend money on like coaches and shoes and all that stuff. But when you were coming up as a dancer, like you were trained, you did like, you could do it. It's just you, it's just you. Mm-hmm. And that work ethic of just taking what God gave you and becoming great without permission, without, you know, um, I just find that deeply inspiring. And, I, and um, I'm inherently lazy um, but I, so, so I'm lazy in that way. So the people that do it that way really inspire me, but I'm not lazy. Um, people, and especially people that can take what they've been given and change their whole circumstances with just their body, change the circumstances of their family and their life and the challenges that come with that. I find that deeply inspiring too. Jamaica, what was one of your favorite choreographed numbers this season? Mine was Red Light Special. That was the best to me so far. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. Oh, God. You're making me choose one of my kids. I know. It's my it's favorite. My favorite kid. <laughs> Everyone says it. But what is today at just this moment? What is season, your season three? This season, season three. From season three. Who? Oh, oh, gosh, it's hard. It, it, oh, it's I know, I know, I got it. Poppy and the kids. I know, actually, I'm gonna go Rego. I'm gonna go, Rigo. I'm gonna go Rego. Um, yeah, just oh. his, him taking over tour oh. that. Rigo's performances this season. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go there. It's uh, yes. it's it's quite it's quite awesome. It's quite awesome. Yes, and and is. that's me again choosing one of my kids. Uh, because I was I was definitely gonna say to Poppy, Poppy's moment make, made me cry. Um so, but yeah, I'm going with Rigo. I'm going with Rigo. Holly, which one was your favorite to watch? Was it Poppy and the Kids outside of the store? Oh, oh, that's, Not like, that's, and the kids, that's that. another Poppy and the like. Whenever you bring it, yes. it's just <laughs> yeah. deeply effing moving. But I would say like there's a lot of freestyle movements. No offense, J- Jamaica. Like no, definitely. on the stage, like um, bit of business towards the end. That um, I don't know. Like Jamaica's really empowered everyone just to feel so good in their bodies and like you know we have a core group of dancers that dance with us um they're just part of the cast really so like yes. but what they do is so much a part of of the show too like and what they're doing in the background and all that kind of stuff you know awesome. it's, it's a little well, moments for me like when i see a, a you know a frame someone doing something really dope but like i love all that yes well, thank you so much for taking the time to talk to me. Congrats on season three. Here's the season four. I'm speaking it to existence. Yes, and I'll yes. talk to you guys soon about future projects. Thank you. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you.